All right, my friends, so today, for those of us that have an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro, um, iMovie for iOS has been updated to finally include uh, the ability to edit the cinematic mode. So uh, we have iMovie up right here, and we're just gonna give you a quick uh, look at uh, cinematic mode and the editing features inside iMovie, which may change the way you and I actually work with this footage as of now, if we're still happy with playing with it on, on our phones. Until, of course, iMovie on the Mac and Final Cut Pro on the Mac gets an update. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so this is this is this is it. I've been playing with it now. The first thing to be aware of, and and I definitely uh, make sure. Um, I was playing around with it earlier this morning, and I was having all kinds of issues. And the biggest issue was I use uh, iCloud for my photos, and I was editing inside iMovie on the iPhone, which this is connected to this, and. Uh, the movies themselves weren't physically downloaded so i was playing around with the cinematic mode like the f-stops that you can play with to, to play with your background blur and it just was not working well so you want to make sure that all your videos are physically downloaded on the device for it to work properly because if not i was getting uh no matter what i did really I, I was still getting way too much blur than i wanted so just kind of be aware of it now the other nice thing, and this is one of the reasons that uh, I like editing on a computer, is the big screen. So for those of us right now that are working on an iPhone that have a Mac computer, uh, do what I'm doing where you do a screen recording uh, or QuickTime just so you can actually, or use AirPlay to get to your Apple TV so you can see the footage in its full so you can really see where those cutouts are happening. So if I click on the edit button right here, all right, we have it up here, which is nice. This is just one of the clips, okay? And basically, if you slide across here and we tap on the clip, you'll get a whole bunch of new stuff. And there's a little one here, I'll just kind of point on the screen, you guys can't see it. But it looks like a camera with a little cutout inside it, and that's the tracking. So you'll see it's tracking Mary right here. Now, if I were to tap on the background, you'll see it say it's gonna focus there. But no, I'm gonna say, see, I'm Mary. I can double tap it just like I would on the phone to get a tracking lock. But for me, really the big one here is this f-stop number in the bottom where right now it says f16. And I find, I'm gonna bring it back to where it defaulted to, which was I think f2.8. And the issue with uh, the iPhone right now is that it really wants to show off what it's doing when you capture in cinematic mode. It's just like, it's gotta look crazy. And it's always kind of in that F2, F2.8. Sometimes I've seen it creep up to F4. And every time, and you can see on my wife's shoulder here, the rear shoulder especially, it's soft. So that's what I'm looking at. And you can see it in her glasses, again, especially the glass, the, the her, her left side, the one that's furthest away, again, really soft. You can see where it's cut, trying to cut that out. So I'm gonna take that basically slider and I'm gonna move it till I get her glasses back and the shoulder looks pretty pretty solid. And that really, for me, about F11. I'm like, okay, so let's just play that back. You can see it's got a good track right there. Everything looks really nice especially if you look at her hair and her shoulder, it's got a really, really nice track right there. And it's solid. That depth of field doesn't look unnatural and it doesn't look fake where you can see where it's cut out. Because if we come back here and bring this all the way back to where it was, let's go 2.8 and, and play through that. So we'll come back through here again and play. You actually see it just, especially both her both her shoulders, especially that rear shoulder, it's really having uh, issues cutting that out well. And the background honestly looks too blurry. So let's actually find another clip here. Let's go here, for instance, okay? Because this one here, I think it's this one, one of these. Yeah, if we actually take this clip, 
and bring it all the way back down again. F2.8. It's not it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but if we take a take a look, I still think that that edge and it really is it's looking for like contrast detection. So because Mary, my wife is wearing a white hoodie up against a bright sky, I think it has problems with that edge. Whereas on the right side of her, which is shadowed, it's a much stronger edging so it can see it better. So again, we're gonna take that line and just kind of start bringing it till her shoulders a bit better. So, but about F, F8, F8 looks good. And again, on the iPhone screen, it's really hard to tell. You really want to see it on a bigger screen. So now when we're here and we're playing it back, she she has a much more uh, solid cutout around her. Now, is the blur going to be a substantial? No, but we want it to look a little more natural. And we have to kind of do this. We have to find where that flaw is, where it looks artificial, and figure out how we can get rid of that. If you look at, I think maybe like a photo like, or a video like this one, possibly so the so the big ones are really when the subject is closest to the person where you're going to really see it so here's another shot of mary and let's bring it all the way back down here uh, and play it this one actually surprisingly pretty good even at f2 she has a good cutout around her so this one actually not too bad looking at her glasses it's a bit you can see the tip of her nose tip of her nose there is getting a bit cut so i'm going to take this and just whoops just kind of bring it up a little bit just to get there that sharpens it a bit so f4 play that back and we have a much more natural it does it finds when it's extreme that's that's the hardest spots so let's actually go here and see if we can find uh, another piece of footage. So we'll hit the plus, we'll go into our video, go to our all, so we can see it all here. And scroll down a whole bunch here, try to find some shots. Yeah, so this one here is kind of a good one. We're gonna add this. Here, this is a difficult one. So if we tap on this again, there's Mary, which is great. It's at F2. Now the issue here is my camera. And my camera here really has a bunch of softness around the trigger here where you hold and actually near the top of the actual camera there's this black piece that looks fuzzy. So again, we're gonna take that and just move that slider. There it comes. That looks better. So F5.6, you can see that all that softness that was around the camera has has just gotten a bit nicer and that again that cutout around mary just looks better so let's bring that back to around f5 i think f5 should be okay yep bring that back a little bit play yeah that's nicer that's a better cut yep so I think uh, you can you can play around with this and really bring out that cinematic mode uh, so much so that you can tell it's cinematic mode. The, the premise here is to hide it enough so it sits somewhere between your smartphone and uh, a mirrorless camera or a DSLR or something like that, right? Because we're trying to get it close so again if we come in for instance like here i'll just do one one more one more for you this one's got you can see some pretty good blur on there so again we're down at f2.8 it's not a great cutout so i'm just gonna slide that up enough right about there i think f5.6 again we still get some good blur in the back but mary has a good cutout and that's the important part Mary's got a good cutout where it looks natural and the blur in the background, especially those people that you see just slightly behind her are nice and blurry. And when she walks by me here, which I think she does fairly soon. Yep. Not as soon as I thought. You still get a nice cutout of her. 
right? If you look there, we pause it. Like her hair looks good. Uh, the outline around her hoodie and everything looks good. We got a nice blur in the background. Nothing looks overly artificial. And as she walks past, still has a good cutout. Yeah. Um, iMovie here works uh, really well. And I, and I point to the computer, but it's on my phone. Uh, works actually really good. My biggest issue, of course, is editing on an iPhone because of the fact that everything looks much tighter and crisper and it's hard to see edge detail. So if you can, get it get it on a screen. Use use AirPlay to get it to you know your television or to a computer monitor. Or like me, I actually have my lightning cable plugged in and I use QuickTime so I can see it. Um, because this way, we can see how that cutout is and we can kind of change that aperture size just enough so that the subject doesn't look like it's done by a computer and that it's not pulled out but it feels more natural all right guys uh that's it i iMovie iMovie for uh ios came out today it's good uh, again make sure your videos are downloaded onto your device because if not it's playing with the pre or the smaller version the originals aren't pulled so all that metadata is not necessarily there make sure it's there so if you add a bunch and it says downloading just give it some time all right guys that's it like comment share subscribe hit that little notification bell and we will have a video coming out tomorrow or the next day uh where we actually you'll see uh cinematic mode versus uh non-cinematic mode and if you think it's it's kind of worth it all right my friends We'll see you then.